Okay, this video is going to be on using the very simple spreadsheet that I will have you guys fill out with the lot names. Okay, uh, I am going to, for the purposes of this demonstration, use Google Sheets, which is free and not resident to your computer. I personally work in Microsoft Excel, uh, but if you use Excel, Google Sheets, if you use OpenOffice or virtually any other spreadsheet program, it's just fine. Uh, the main thing is we need four fields up here, and I will send you a template so that all you have to do to start off with an auction is open up the template and uh, go to town. So the first uh, field here lot number is where you will be literally putting the lot numbers for the items in your auction okay the lot number extension field which is this second field lot number extension is one that you will rarely use and by the way with any spreadsheet program you can go up to the top of the column and make those columns more narrow or more wide whatever whatever you need to do but uh, I usually use a very narrow column for lot number extension because it is so rarely used. What is it used for? Well, here's what happens. You're in a house, you take a picture of lot 109, the sticker, then you take pictures of the item that you intended to be lot 1009, and then your telephone rings and you have a complete telephone conversation. Then you turn around after you're finished with your telephone conversation and you take another picture of lot 1009, the sticker, and then you take a whole nother series of pictures. And what's happened is you've skipped a lot number and there is a lot out there that does not have a sticker on it and we have to be able to address it. So what happens in that instance in the cases where you will use this column right here is that you'll determine uh, which lot does not actually have a sticker on it which will be the first time that you took pictures of 1009 and you will use 1009 and then tab over and use B okay you'll use a letter in there and technically if you did it three times you could also have a 1009 C but uh, hopefully you didn't get that distracted so anyway that's what that lot number extension is for and this is very important when you're using photoscape and renaming photos literally before the dash in the renaming block in that renaming window in photoscape you will put 1009b and then the dash and yes the b will be right next to the 9 there's no space no comma no anything it'll just be 1009b dash and if you do it that way then the uh, picture files will be renamed properly and it'll show up correctly online so also remember if you do that the next time you go back to the house or the business or wherever the lot is you need to take uh, a label and handwrite that number on it and put it on the lot. In other words, you'll need to go find 1009B, get a blank label, write 1009B on it, and then put that on the lot. And that's how that that is the quick way to keep that straight. So this is the column for that that you will rarely use. Next column, lot name. I want you to use all capital letters. for this column and uh, it's not really required some of our other auctioneers do not do that most of our other auctioneers don't do that actually but uh, it helps me if I'm going back and changing or, or che checking on issues in an auction by knowing what I'm going to find in the lot name field versus the lot description field uh, plus frankly it's quicker to type in all caps than it is uh, in in regular letters and so on and so forth so anyway lot name is always going to be in capital letters and then lot description you do not always have to use 
One place that I do use it all of the time is that uh, if we have a tool or an electronic device or an appliance that we can test, that we can get electricity to and we can test, you know intuitively it's going to bring a lot more money if we can say that it works. And uh, so like this, uh, I say this Toshiba large screen TV, we plugged it in, knew that it worked, which I actually did with that photo that we renamed. Over here in not all caps, just regular writing with a period and everything, we'll put powers up. That way we know or the customer will know that we tested it and, you know, hey, it powered up. We don't say any more than powers up because we don't we can't take the time to fully test something. Uh, but at least we can say definitively that, hey, the thing came on, so, you know, probably works. And the way we handle that is with two words, powers up, period. So anyway, uh, depending on what type of spreadsheet you're using, there are shortcuts that you may already know for filling in a series of numbers over here, which makes entering lot numbers faster. Uh, any shortcut that you know to any spreadsheet operation is perfectly fine, but what I need you to do at the end of the process is to save this file on your computer and I don't care what format just save this file on your computer with a name that you'll recognize in a place that you will recognize and then you will go back to Dropbox to upload that file by dragging it over uh, to your Dropbox account and then whatever file name you gave it or if you put it in a folder and you need to share it along with other files like picture files with me you will share it using the share button at the top and you'll remember from the previous video you'll share it with rscottmeyer at gmail.com uh, and you'll give me the rights to edit and uh, then you'll send it to me and I'll get that link and then I can download your spreadsheet with all of your lot names and descriptions and uh, start working with it to get the auction to run. So that's going to do it for this. Uh, you will probably have some questions for me when you, when you first start working with it. Just let me know. We'll work through them. After you've done it a couple of times, it'll be very, very easy.